The DevExpress unit conversion library ships with our .NET document server, a non-visual .NET library built and optimized for C-sharp, VB.NET, and ASP.NET developers alike. In this demo, I'll describe how you can get started with the unit conversion library and create a simple application that converts temperature units Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. Let's start by creating a new Windows Forms application project. I'll drop three system.windows.forms.text box controls to enter values in different temperature units text Celsius, text Fahrenheit, and text Kelvin. Next, I'll add a reference to the devexpress.docs assembly and include the devexpress.unit conversion namespace. I'll create the convert from Celsius method to convert the temperature value in Celsius to values in Fahrenheit and Kelvin. To do this, I need to call the convert method of units.temperature, pass the value to be converted, measure units of this value, Celsius, and units to which I want to convert the value, Fahrenheit. Let's convert the resulting value to string to assign it to the text property of the text Fahrenheit text box. Let's do the same in order to generate values in Kelvin. Now, let's create the convert from Fahrenheit method to get the Celsius and Kelvin values from the value in Fahrenheit. Let's do this in a different way, via extension methods of the system.double data type. For example, the string double Celsius equals value dot Fahrenheit dot to Celsius converts the value from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Finally, I'll create the convert from Kelvin method to convert Kelvin values to Celsius and Fahrenheit values. Subscribe to the text changed event of each text box. Let's create methods to get a text box value to subscribe and unsubscribe text changed events. In the text Celsius text changed event handler, I'll call the convert from Celsius method. And that's it. Let's now run the application. Enter a value in the Celsius field, and you'll see how this value is converted to Fahrenheit and Kelvin. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.